Hey there and welcome to Eat Naked 2013. Thanks so much for joining me. I've got really great news. I will be competing in the Miss Mexico US pageant 2013 this November. So start um, planning to go and help support me in Las Vegas is where it's going to take place. So in order to prepare lots of preparations, I like to start with diet first because if you um, if all you really need is to have a perfect state of mind or as best as you can get, uh, you gotta feed your brain, right? And in order to have that energy, gotta be eating as healthy as possible. So, I'll be documenting some recipes of how I am going to be getting prepared um, for the pageant coming up. Really excited. Um, one of my most favorite dishes and which I thought was going to be the biggest challenge when I started to practice eating mostly raw vegan was how in the world am I going to be able to live without pasta? I absolutely love pasta. So, if you want to see the statue of liberty already, he's very small of course, I did a lot of investigation and finally found this amazing tool. This is my favorite tool. It's called a spiralizer and you can find it on Amazon. It's about 30 bucks and it is so well worth it. If you're trying to get rid of the gluten, rid of the wheat, rid of the bread, pasta, grains, um, this is going to help save your life. Absolutely love it. So, um, believe it or not, I never used to eat zucchini until I tried making my pasta and now I am yum guiltlessly addicted to my zucchini. This is a peeled and pre-cut zucchini. Just cut the sides off, peel it. We are going to put this in this little toolbox. Hold down. Let's see, let's see. Um, so yeah, I have my ingredients for later. All you gotta do, and you can use different types of vegetables. You can spiralize carrots and turn it into a, um, like a spaghetti form, a noodle. And it comes with three different sizes that you can use. If you like it a little thinner, you can also just not put as much, as much pressure on this when you're using it. So you're just gonna put it on there. And you can also use a, like, um, butternut squash, jicama. Um, onion, cucumber, you can basically spiralize anything. Um, you just go like this and it comes out the other side in wonderful, wonderful noodle form. If you like them um, a little thinner, you just don't add as much pressure. And um, if you like them thicker, so this one kind of got stuck. So you can just cut it shorter, it's usually easier. If you like them softer, you just squeeze a little bit of lemon or lime juice on the noodles and let it marinate for five to ten minutes. If you don't like the citrusy flavor, you can just use water if you want. And as you can see, we get this absolutely wonderful noodle form all from zucchini. So you just put that in a bowl, let it marinate if you want with lemon or lime juice put that away. And for my uh, raw marinara sauce, I simply put into a blender tomatoes and this just goes by what you like. You can do more tomatoes and less of something else. But the three key main ingredients, tomatoes, you have sun-dried tomatoes, it's like key, and of course the best secret ingredient basil and um, I like things a little bit spicier so if you can get some um, fresh garlic and it's just an option but I use um, red bell pepper and I like onion I like that extra spice and if you want it a little sweeter kinda like the pregos or sauces that you get from the store you can add some dates then you just throw it in the blender blend it up and voila, you take your sauce, you pour it over your noodles, and you have got raw 
vegan spaghetti and it's just as delicious and very very nutritious no fat no salt no just all yummy healthy mm-hmm absolutely delicious spaghetti you're not gonna miss it <laughs> so thanks so much for joining me I hope this is very helpful Go ahead and give me a like if you liked it. If you want to keep me to make more uh, different dishes and uh, continue to me document my process of preparing for Señorita Mexico U.S. 2013. Thanks so much for joining. And if you make this, show me your pictures or if you add something else or like a different flavor or want to see a different type of mock dish, let me know. Um, I... For my birthday, I, I did a raw vegan little taste of everything for some of my closest family members and friends. And I did like a, a raw vegan ceviche and a fettuccine sauce and all so sorts of good yummy stuff. So let me know what you're interested in trying and uh, we will work together to make it happen. Um, we'll talk soon. Eat naked. <laughs>